guys, is it just me or do you also think that virginity is a scam? Now, <laughs> don't think I'm against virginity like I'm refusing people out there to be virgins or anything, but let's just look at the facts. Like, who does virginity benefit? And you know, when I'm talking about virginity, people are already, you are already assuming that I'm only talking about the women, but I'm also including the men. By that, I mean that wait as in being a virgin until the time you get married. All right. Or you find your one true love, etc. Okay. Now we're going to just discuss and see who it really benefits and how long that value runs its course. Like, because they say virginity is something that is valuable, but for how long? Okay. So, <laughs> uh, welcome guys. If you haven't yet subscribed, 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 please do. Okay. Because here we just talk about all the things that nobody really wants to talk about. And uh, if you're here on YouTube, we also have a Facebook page where we discuss other matters still regarding about uh, the vagina or the down there of a woman. Whichever language uh, you feel like is more appropriate. I don't know how else. It's the biological name. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> when it comes to virginity, a long time ago, uh, I think, okay, that also the men would wait and uh, they would all be like virgins, the husband and the wife by the time they get married. And then they would both take each other's virginities. And of course, relationships long time were more long lasting. Like people would refuse no matter how bad the relationship is. They would refuse to get out of these relationships. They would make it work until the end. So you will find that long, long time ago, so many people lasted in the same relationship forever until the day they died. Okay. Even some never like remarried uh, in most cases. Okay, <clears throat> because it was something that was so sacred and it was a beautiful, unique thing that carried so much weight to it. But let's talk about today. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even know where to start because <clears throat> right now it's good for a girl and a man to be a virgin. All right. Until the time they get married. But the only problem is, okay, I feel like now the men have completely excluded themselves from staying virgins. You see, now before the virginity that was a whole that meant so much to both sides, now it doesn't, it doesn't, for the men, it really means that, oh no, we don't have to do that. So it's cool because it's only the women, um, if a woman, uh, you know, s sleeps with other men before her wedding, then, you know, she's the one who is unclean. She's the one that, uh, you know. She, she, she's not appealing. She's not as good as she, she's supposed to. So that's how we see it. And I'm just going to take it um, how it is and we continue this conversation, okay? So the men are now excluded on that. So it has reduced the sacredness or the beauty of the virginity, okay? Now it's only on the women's side that are expected to stay virgins, all right? And when they do, of course, um, by the time they get married, they mostly get married to men who are no longer virgins. Let's talk about what happens to them during that time as they are sleeping around on multiple women. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of something called uh, bonding, like <clears throat> when you have sexual intercourse with someone, there is some sort of spiritual bonding that happens between the, the two of you, all right? Or you make a spiritual connection between the two of you. And by this, it means that there's going to be basically a transference of energy. You transfer each other's energies to each other and you are... Uh, uh, in this way, you you can um, exchange, you know, curses, negative energy, you know, onto each other, you know, problems, um, evilness, all the terrible dark stuff, okay, that you might be carrying <clears throat> or the other person might be carrying, they can transfer them to you. It means that your virgin wife-to-be is going to find you with this kind of uh, situation. Okay, you must have bonded, you might have bonded with a lot of uh, spiritual stuff and then you can actually do a transference onto her when you sleep with her. Okay, I'm a firm believer of this, uh, this you know, this whole spiritual bonding, honestly, because of, uh, not just because of what I've had, because of how I really feel when I'm intimate with my partner. It's, it's like an outer body experience. It's... Um, there is a serious connectedness that I think all of us feel during that moment. Her keeping her virginity hasn't benefited her at all because, you know, you already soiled the water. 
okay it's not as pure and beautiful <laughs> and uh clean like it should all right then um number two where i think um it only benefits the men is because for him it's a win when he wipes you and you're a virgin it's actually just a win to him like oh yeah you know i was the first and the only one so it's, it's like he has conquered something like he has conquered a city or or won a war or taken over you know i don't know he has won a battle all right and then even if you come to this marriage as a virgin your partner can still cheat on you it's not a guarantee because you are virgin that they want they definitely can't sleep around if they want that's what i'm saying that how far does this value go on after your virginity is broken by your husband or your wife let me say okay I, and then they start cheating on you it makes no sense at all okay because you would think you are so valuable that they will treasure you so much and they wouldn't do anything like that like you would be the price they were waiting for but no <laughs> it was just to conquer the city uh, to get that win after they got that win they get back to their uh, bad habits so that's why i'm saying that these days virginity is a scam all right however much we shall uh tell our daughters to stay pure until the time they get married okay because of course if you sleep around it also has its negative impacts all right but as we have seen you can still find these negative impacts even after you get married to your partner so guys i i, I really don't know i need your thoughts down below like how how do we maintain the value of the virginity like how do we stretch it out these days i feel like we can't anymore no matter how we try <laughs> i mean the world has to be wiped out first so that new fresher people can come and then uh there's a tough hand on instilling these morals okay <laughs> but otherwise i think we are far gone <laughs> yeah so Tell me down below what you think. Do you think virginity is still worth uh, is still worth anything and what is it worth? Okay? Uh or valuable, you know? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Take care guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.